And now uh, for your starting lineups. For the Cougars, sophomore number 15, Brady Philbrick. <laughs> sophomore number 23, Trevor Crosby. <laughs> Junior number 5, Dakota White. <laughs> Junior number 3, Nathaniel Wainwright. And senior number 54, Lawson Timberlake. <laughs> Putting together for the Ring Fed Rebels, we'll start off with sophomore number 14, Jonathan Marshall. <laughs> junior number 15, Riley Hatton. <laughs> junior number 11, Philip Nessick. Junior number four, Brody Morgan. And senior number five, Ryan Lilly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I ask you to rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Lost a lot of seniors from last year's team, so it looks like you know, they're going to have, uh, I won't call it a rebuilding, but it, it could be that they need to bring up a lot of people to take over those senior positions. And Telstar uh, did the opposite, right? Did the opposite, because now there's a collaboration with uh, Gould Academy, which hasn't had a basketball team in quite some time, and some of their players have joined Telstar to uh, make up uh, the team. So. It could be a good matchup. Uh, Morgan. That was good work, good rebound. rebound. Lily. Nice shot. And somehow he gets it up in there. Yeah, it's a little step through on the block and get it up off the glass. Quiet, Lily. Like Telstar is going to press here, bring in some energy. Good thing he got his hands in that passing lane, because... Almost saved, almost saved. Diego had a guy wide open on By the ball. Philip Nessick. Uh, Rebels are going to stay in a man-to-man -man defense here, which means screens should be effective. Or a good jab. That'll work. 
Oh, there go, got the whoop they wanted. It's 23. Trevor Crosby going to the line for Deere, though. I was on Riley Head. Violation by, I guess, a Telstar player. Well, that's going to give Deergo another shot. Well, that one should have gone anyway. Yeah, it <laughs> was in and around and out. But. Rebound, Morgan. Deep three, Riley. He's a good shooter. He's a shooter, Wayne. You know, if he can hit those consistently, he'll expand, he'll force Diergo to expand their defense. Good hustle. A steal by Wyatt Lilly and a put back. Yeah, Willie really saw that coming oh. from a mile. <laughs> Trying to do the same thing, just, yeah. just a half step behind. But yeah, Willie really saw that steal coming from a mile away. He was at half court right. when he saw that. So Brody Morgan picks up uh, his first foul. Yeah, Rebels are going to do a full court press here. This is a zone press. They're going to try to trap him in the corner, but Diego does a good job of breaking it. Yeah. Lily comes up with the ball. Over Hedden. Hedden puts up another one. Another three. <laughs> So Telstar still with that full court press. They're going to try to do that double man trap. Dirigo to break that press is going to try to keep the ball in the middle of the court. Knocked out of bounds by the Rebels. The Dirigo ball. Rebels with a 10-0 lead early in this uh, first quarter. The Rebels are going to be in a 2-3 zone here. Pretty common coming out of an inbounds play. But that was easy. Well, I think they were, I think that four of the five players on the Rebels were in a 2-3 zone. Yeah, the the fifth off. player was in a man, and that's what happened there. A little heat check for Riley. Nobody, yeah. Nobody had number one there for a while. Oh, he reached. Ah, oh, that's that's a pretty I think that looked worse than it was. Yeah. It's that, but it's that reach over. That's why coaches constantly tell their players, "You stay straight up, stay straight up." If he stays straight up, they're not blowing the whistle, and he's probably going to have the same effect. And both foul shots are good. By, uh, I think that was, name is Timberlake, isn't it? Just, he was just coming out of the game, 54? 54, okay. <laughs> well, that's one way to get around the defense. Just keep Bobo in the ball. Philip, Philip Nessick doesn't give up on it. It goes in for two. Well, the Rebels are still staying in that press. I expect they will until Dirigo proves they can they can break it yeah. and score. Offensive foul. Yeah. Number three, what, Nathaniel Wainwright with the foul, rebel ball. You know, Deere goes in, I would call this a, a half court, maybe a three-quarter court press, similar to what the Rebels have been doing. Kind of, kind of 
Kind of a trapping one there. Yep. Yeah, they're going to try to trap, keep the ball out of the middle. The Rebels, the, the, really the press break for them is very similar to what the press break for Deerigo should be. Get the ball to somebody in the middle and then pass it out and work your way up. You don't want to be in the corners because Walking that's where you get trapped. To Lily. It's a good shot, good follow. Rebound. Oh, he did a good job following his yeah. shot. Can't ask for much more than that. You gotta get back. Oh, no, oh, go back. Grab, grab it, grab it. <laughs> grab the ball. We call it a jump ball. I would say that's a jump ball at this point. Fumble! <laughs> right before the rest of the teams jump on. Okay, possession arrow goes uh, Derrigo's favor. South Star is basically in a half court man. Nice steal. Morgan with the steal, the layup for two. Here it was a timeout. <coughs> Rebels are definitely looking quick out there today. Yeah, they're playing hard. They're playing good defense. Diego's having a hard time breaking that uh, that press. Uh, the Rebels have had, what they have to do is they're, with their, they're in a zone press for the most part on those kind of inbounds plays, but they're falling back into a man-to-man -man zone, and it, it, it can be tricky sometimes to move from a zone defense to a man defense yeah. in the same possession. And you've seen the Rebels have broken down a couple times, but overall the press is working. Let's see if Dirigo's made any changes to their... Now the Rebels, that's when, once they, once they break that press, Telstar has to hustle and get back. Yes. Nice, Steve. <laughs> nice play by Willie. That was a good hustle play. And Philip Nessick. Never want to discourage him from taking that shot, but the Rebels missed the guy underneath right. there. I guess it follows on Morgan for four. Kyle Long in the game now for the Rebels. Uh, what a miscommunication on the man coverage there. I didn't see who that was, Wayne. Who scored that? I didn't see it either. Rebels have got to get that board. Rebels are getting good shots. They just got to get them back to falling. That's a three. And that was Brady Philbrick with the three. 
Cougars on a run now. They cut it down to three points, 16 to 13. Well, I imagine Coach Kimball's going to remind them of uh, they're in the lead and tell them to slow down and take your take your shots. Um, maybe reminding them of their press break because Dirigo is now pressing them. And at the same time, just saying, hey, we've been taking good shots. They're going to fall eventually. Yep. Those cross-court passes are dangerous. Yep. High game. Travel. Nesic back in the game for the Rebels, replacing Juan. Stuffed by Marshall, no, I mean by Morgan. Oh, I think there was a little body there. <laughs> the officials missed one on that. Well, he loses the ball as he drives in. Nice deep, nice hustle. Broken up by Hedden. Yeah, it was good, good hustle by Hedden to get back and cut that pass off. So there goes ball underneath. I get it. It's getting loud in here, Wayne. Yes. Jewel was saying it wasn't very loud, but that's changed. Yeah. <laughs> takes, I think it's their first lead of the night. Yep. Grady Kellogg reporting the game for Marshall. No. Can't dribble through the press. You gotta pass your way through the press. Yep. I just needed that. Lily for three. But they, they got lucky there, they Wayne. Did. They, they, they have did. to pass their way through that. And they have to get back on defense. Nessick with the rebound out to Lily. The best thing about that good defense is it doesn't allow Dirigo to set up their, their, their trap. Nessick drives. And he gets fouled. I think he's going to go to the line, I think. Was he shooting or passing? Must have been passing. I guess he's passing. I, I feel like maybe he, if he flared, flailed a little more, he could have got the shooting yeah. call. I don't know. That's how it works in the NBA, at least, right? Heading out to Nesic. Oh, good idea, but it wasn't there. Oh. Rebels be giving up some open shots, aren't they? So at the end of one, there are the Cougars, 23, Rebels, 19. 
You are watching Telstar Basketball on Western Hills Access Television. And if you're watching it live, you're probably watching it on either YouTube or Western Hills Access Television .org or Channel 1302 or Channel 11 on Spectrum if you live in the local area. Uh, like you said at the end there, the Rebels are giving up open shots and that's because they're having trouble with that transition from their zone to, to man. So they've really just got to, it's really just hustle. You just have to turn around and put your head down and run back. Uh, as soon as you realize that the, uh, that the other team has broken your press, or really as soon as they've got it across half court, that's when you just turn around and you run back. And credit for, to Deergo for taking advantage of that and late in the quarter. Yeah, Deergo is definitely fired up now compared to the first uh, probably three minutes of the, of the game. Yes. Oh, the Rebels just got to get that energy back. There's no reason they can't have that. <laughs> really puts it up. Yeah, good luck. I don't know. Seemed like a lot of steps to me, Wayne, but I guess I'm yeah. old school. Nice, nice. Good nice off the backboard by Lily. Nice head fake, good use of the glass there. You get a piece of that. Foul <laughs> was on Lily, his second. Well, Let's hope he doesn't pick up his third before the half. <laughs> Rebels trail by four early in the second quarter. Oh, keep going. Good work, good work. Ah, unlucky. Nice move. Yeah, it should be a rebound. It should be. Uh, it's going to be Rebel Ball, I think. Yeah, Kellogg there should get fouled on the rebound. A Rebel Ball. Wasn't quite sure which way that was going to go. That's the trap. There. Nice. Nice pass. Oh, come on, this is the shot. Ah, just make that extra half step to the side and use the glass. Easier said than done, but Telstar did a good job of breaking it. They got the look they wanted. Just didn't go. It's a long three. Well, Wayne, the Diego had three guys crashing the glass and the Rebels had one. So. In and out. Now Telstar has got the looks they wanted the last couple of possessions. They just haven't gone in. Oh. Nice hustle. Oh. Again, 
by Lilly, doesn't go. Go so if they wanted. That's a good no call. That's a good no call. Deer Eagle fans wanted that. Yeah. Timeout, full timeout, trying to settle things down. Yeah, they don't want to, you know, the game's still very much in reach here, so. Uh, Rebels have had several good looks this quarter. I mean, there's easily six or eight points that could be on the board, should be on the board, just didn't go down. I imagine they'll be dis they're discussing that uh, press break at this point. At this point, um, that's the only, that's the biggest change here between the success they had in the first quarter and and, the, and what we see now, I think. They, they got to get the energy back up, too. They had good energy that first quarter. Right. And we need some signs here to get the crowd going, I think. <laughs> We need Marilee Ojeda. Yeah. She'd be out over the air. She'd get the crowd going. going. Takes it in, oh, he gets fouled. So Riley Hedden will go to the line to shoot two. That is a good move, a good take, good hustle. Cuts the deficit to seven. Uh, it's a deep three. Ah, uh, he was out. Oh. Lily was actually, as he came down out of bounds after yep. that rebound. So I was looking it up in between games, and uh, instant video replay is going to be enacted in high school uh, for playoffs, so tournament games. And it's, I think the way I understood it is it'll be applicable to end of the quarter shots, and um, or end of the game scenarios to see if the shot was off before the buzzer, or if uh, it was a two versus a three pointer kind of thing. Warren comes up with a rebound. Oh. Nesek. Nesek for two. Lead down to five now for the Cougars. 
Good save there by 15. Unfortunately, we had a shoe issue underneath uh, the yeah. mask at that time. Yeah. Hey. So 33-25. Cougars by eight. Three minutes to go, third, uh, second quarter. Nice block. Don't save it under your own basket, Wayne. It's always so tempting. I think he was trying to hit it off a player, though. He was. Short. It's a good, good look. Trap him, trap him right there in the corner. That's three. Nathan Wainwright. Good hustle by the. Everybody over there. Who's he calling the foul on in that scrub? It's a white ball, I know that. That's all I got out of that. I think the Deerigo coach is wandering a little too far out onto the court. Number one, Nick Zolad in for the Rebels. Morgan inbound for the Rebels. Steal by three, Nathan Wainwright. This is a layup. Out of bounds, anyway. Well, if I'm Coach Kimball, I'm encouraging the guys to slow, slow it down for the half and just cut the lead. You know, you don't need to get it all back. Just go into halftime, keep the game in reach. It's very, it's very attainable. I mean, we saw Dixfield come back from that. Nice. Hidden, puts it up. There we go. They'll fall eventually. Marley hidden for three. You now again, keep, keep the defense up. Gotta get the rebounds though. up on the ground. Yeah. You might want to put him in concussion protocol the way he was acting there. Kellogg uh, ends up with a foul. His first. Not sure what that was. 
So you're like, that was an awful cheap one compared to some of the ones they're letting go. Yes, absolutely. Well, the Rebels are in man-to-man -man here. seen this many fouls in such a short period of time. Kellogg with the second. Rebels now at five, at four. Placing Kellogg. I mean, we could hear that up here. I'm not sure what the Diego coach is complaining about. <laughs> Maybe he's watching a different game. <laughs> well, he had to go to the line. Shoot two. Very smooth. He's a good shooter, no doubt about that. A long three. Coach Kimball's not happy about that call. Yeah. I say Morgan also gonna let it go. They think it was off the other player too. You wouldn't think so, but we got five. Oh. The Rebels just have to come out in the third quarter. They've got to cut the weed in half. That should, I, I, I think that'll be the message at halftime, and yeah, they'll Rebels, be in good shape. Rebels go in down by 12, 42 to 30. So we'll be back for the second half action in about 10 minutes. See you then.
ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. back for the second half action with the Telstar Rebels down by 12 to the Derrigo Cougars. Oh, Wayne, I'll tell you right now, I started keeping score and then I completely forgot to do it for about <laughs> 10 minutes and by that time I figured it was. So I'm not going to have any totals for you at the end for Derrigo. Oh boy, I'm going to say we're going to have to you can dock Great. My We're going to have to break you in yeah. right here. Well, you can dock my pay. I, I, won't, I won't be upset about it. All right. <laughs> Rebels get the ball to start off the second. Second half. Yeah, we'll see what kind of energy they can bring, and you know, maybe their shots will fall a little better. Well, we have a turnover right there. Nesnik to Hedden. Knock out of bounds. Del Sires back to the starting five there of Hedden, uh, Lilly, Nesnik, Marshall, and who am I forgetting? Morgan. Defense is good so far. 
Rebels got to get a. Hit oh. hooks up. He was foul. He didn't go hit the floor, but he was foul. I won't disagree. I mean, he was so far out in the open. <laughs> Andy gets his own rebound, puts it out to Lily. There we go. And Lily puts up the three. Rebels needed that. Uh, got a three on two, you gotta push it, you got numbers. Oh, he got too far underneath. I thought he was gonna come up with a rebound. Uh, I didn't see that. I think he had the ball out of his hand, but. Huh. I mean, he. I, I didn't see it that way at all. I thought he already put the ball down when he started taking those steps, but. Uh, Rebels just gotta D it up. Yeah, that's a foul. Wow. <laughs> that was an awful lot of ball. I don't know. I like to see that on the replay. Brooks, where's the replay? Come on. Is, is replay coming soon? Scramble, Lily comes up with the ball. Uh, Pass right deflected. That's his third. And Lily gets called for the foul. I believe it's going to be his third. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him come out for a minute or so here. Just you don't want to pick up your fourth foul in the third at early in the third period. Said it's only his second. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was his third. Oh, that's his third. Rebels already made uh, three fouls in the first two minutes, basically, of this uh, quarter. And how many does Diego have? Fouls? Yeah. None? Funny how that works. I'm not biased or anything, no way. No, no. I think they must have one now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Louie's coming out of the game now. Replaced by Carl Young. One. One. It's hard when you come in the game like that and you're cold and someone gives you, <laughs> gives you the ball right away. You're not just... Second timeout by the Derrico coach. Leading by 12. Yeah, he, he must want to draw up a play because I can't think of yeah. why else he'd be calling a timeout. His team kind of had the momentum too, I thought. But. Yeah. This is one of the biggest crowds I've seen in, in some time here at Telstar for a, for a game. Yeah, they might have to start opening up the other sections of bleachers here. <laughs> Maybe we can 
sell seats up here so they can get a good view and we'll pick up a little extra cash. Yeah. So we, so we can afford a statistician. Okay, there go the inbound. Well, when we go big time, Wayne, we'll be court time. Oh, that, okay. I mean, that's where Mike and Tommy always sat. That's right. Number 10, Kimball Coolidge in the game now for the Rebels. Along with Thomas yeah. Skinner, number 14. Got to protect the ball. He's just got to keep his body in between his defender and the ball there. He just... Right now, Wayne, Dirigo just has the energy. Yes, they do. doesn't have it. Yeah. I think the ability is fairly clo close here. I think that the score of this game doesn't represent the uh, abilities of each team, comparatively speaking, I guess. Yeah, Rebels were down 12, and now they're down to six, down 16, so. thing is uh, Telstar is in a class D, yep. but they're playing <coughs> mostly C and B schools, so it's like, okay. Yep. <laughs> well, that was always huh. the frustrating thing. It's we, we were class C back in the day and playing class B schools. And I never understood. They never let us when. Gould had their own teams. They never let us play Gould, even though, because they were a Class D, but it's like, wait a minute. Right, right. If a Class B school can come and play us, why can't we go play a Class D school? <laughs> Especially when they're two miles away. Right. Lily. There we go. For three. Got to keep them, keep them going. Nice. Turn over, Rebels get it. Lily. Over to Hedden, that's a long three. That's like hugely long. It, I thought it was going in, Wayne. I, well, I, it was close, that's for sure. That was like an, almost like an NBA three. Yeah. He's not afraid to shoot him out there, and he can make him. <laughs> Diego obviously in no hurry to score, given their lead. That was a good block. It, it was. I was I'm, afraid they're going to call a foul just because they do, but. I feel the same way. I, Morgan! Oh. Good trap by the Rebels there. But you gotta get back. And you gotta rebound. Again, too many rebounds. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the Rebels got lucky there. on Logan Timberlake for the Cougars. This is his first. I thought he had a foul in the first half. But, oh well, my numbers must be wrong. Maybe if you go so many minutes without committing a foul, they take one away. If only that were the case. Rebels have to get rebound with their hands up. Uh. Well, 
Fouls on Riley Hidden. But you can hear the crowd saying what the Rebels need to do. Yeah. Box out. Three fouls on Hedden. And that was number 11 going in, I believe, Gage Lee for 54. Nice pass. Good luck. A good follow. Another rebound by Marshall. Yeah, he's, he's doing well on the offensive boards. He might be the only Rebel that is rebounding. Oh, they can't get anything to go, Wayne. Rebounded by Hedden. <laughs> this is the rebound. This is layup, that is. Yeah, there was a little, they should have call, probably called interference. Huh? <laughs> the Deergo player was running a screenplay, but it was a moving pick, basically, but the refs didn't see it. It was away from the ball. The Rebels just can't shoot right now. Nope. They scored uh, six points in this quarter so far. Now the Rebels were out of position there. You could hear the coach calling for the play, and I don't think all the players heard it. Only about half of them were in position. Two shots. So Philip Nesick is on the line to shoot two. <laughs> Fouls on Ryan Wing for the Cougars. Oh, sorry. Make your free throws. Yeah. Good point. Oh, that works too. Yep. That does work. Yeah, heading for the rebound and the putback. Well, there go made a couple big shots there, but the I mean the rebels. Get a couple points here and keep yourselves within reach. Nice. Oh, I thought he had it, Wayne. It's a good double team in the corner. Yep, Go push Marshall's it. Good job there to stick with the ball. Rebels have numbers. You got to push it. There you go. So Wyatt you do. Lilly. When you're going up and down the court like that and you've got numbers, you go right to the basket. A good job by Lily. Well, at the end of the uh, third quarter, the Rebels down by 16, 56 to 40. Well, they, they were up. down. They were down 12 at the end of the half, but they were down all by about 18 there a while ago. Yep. So uh, they started picking up a little momentum at the end of the quarter. They got to carry that in. You know, for the Rebels, only four people have scored. Really? Yeah.
Skinner in the game, Zolad in the game. Calwan in the game, along with Hedden and Lily. Well, coming out of a timeout, that is not the basket the Rebels wanted to give up. No. Or that pass either? No. They've got to get those rebounds. Nice move. Uh, that's a good shot, just didn't yeah. go. for Skinner. Oh, he saw him too late. It's so tempting to make that pass, but it's such a dangerous pass to make. The longer the pass, the more time for somebody to come in and steal it. Yeah. I think they're going over the score, resetting the fouls for the quarter, I think, maybe? Yes, because they, they hadn't done that before, so right. instead of being five, it's one, so. And anyone that didn't hear us earlier, they now do uh, five fouls a quarter, and after five fouls, your team goes, uh, shoots two for a non-shooting foul, and there's no more one-and-one -one free throws in high school basketball. And each quarter, it resets. Yep, each quarter, it resets, so. I do think you were right earlier saying that it moves it along a little faster. Well, that shot's falling and our layups aren't. That's a frustration foul right there. Yep. Owen Smith coming in for the Cougars. And Dupre and Nessick in for the Rebels. And Caden Hutchinson heading to the bench for the Cougars. Rebound Kellogg. Good shot to take. The play for three. <laughs> That's a deep three. If I'm Diego's coach, I'm probably encouraging them not to take that shot at this point in the game. Work it around and take the easy shot that they just got, but. I 
that's a good shot. Kyle wants the three. Oh, we'll get some more people on the score sheet for the Rebels. Yes. Nesek to bring the ball up the court. Yep. Oh, whoa. Uh, he, he got rid of it, I guess. Yeah. Lily drives nice to the basket, move. lays it too up. Hard. Everything was good but the basket. <laughs> Just a little too hard on the finish. It's so hard. You know, you're going 100 miles an hour and you just got to kiss it right off the glass. Well, as Dave Barry would say, it ain't a loaf of bread. Kellogg back out to Dupre. Nice shot. Rebound Lily, puts her up, no good. I... <laughs> he didn't have the ball. Yeah, how I, I can you call time? He out? didn't have the ball. No possession. Uh, that's. It's not a good call. No. I don't want to go full Tommy Heinsohn on these people, on the refs here, but that May is he not rest a good in call. peace. Yes. <laughs> no, but that, nobody, to me, they were being fighting over it. I feel a foul would be called, perhaps, but nobody had possession. No. They didn't have possession, Jewel. We have to figure out, we don't have instant replay, but we can replay it later. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, it, but it wouldn't change Later the game. Play. It wouldn't change the game. It would just show that we're right. Next year's budget. Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. I can two cameras and then go back and play. And we'll only air it to the viewing public when we're right, right? We won't yep, air it that, when we're wrong. That's right. Yeah, I agree. That was not a good call. You can't you, you you can't call a timeout when nobody has possession of the ball, and that was either the ball was loose or it was a jump ball. Yeah. Um, so that's that's poor officiating in that manner. But it, it is a tactful idea when you're on the ground and you have the ball to call timeout so you don't travel and so that right. you don't have to turn it over. But you have to clearly have possession. And the coach can't call timeout if, really. If, I mean, they can, but right. Usually the player's the one that knows. And I'm pretty sure if we went to Gene Steratore for this, he would say that they didn't have possession of that ball. I should say number 13, Elliot Norton is in the game for the Rebels. I think Coach Kimball's taking advantage of this deficit to get some experience to the to the other side of the bench here, which is a good thing to do because yep. this is good quality time for all the young guys. And you're going to need them. You have to have depth on your team. So it's a good look. Knocked out of bounds by Dupre. Kimball Coolidge in the game now for Lilly. goes on Kyle Wan. His second. Just 
Skinner back in the game now for Kellogg. Good shot last time. Yep. I'd like to see him take another outside shot sometime. I see. I'd like to see the Rebels as soon as that guy picks up the dribble, get right on him. You know, when, when, he, when he can dribble, you got to give him a little space. But as soon as they pick it up, they can't go anywhere. I don't know if you can call that a rebound or not, but Capri came up with it. Well, the miss. Right. Comes up with that, shoots. I mean, his shot looks good. Rebound by Norton, but the shot was no good. Yeah, just unlucky there. Just he knows he knew it as soon as he let yep. go of it. Zolaird in for one. That's his second rebound if we count that other one. Coach, full five, full timeout, leading by 23. Yep. Well, I'm sure each team just, you know, at this point, just work on your, you know, whatever your game is, work on your plays. You know, tell Star. I'm sure they're both getting the back end of their bench some some time in. And, uh, that's really all you can do at this point. Yep. Uh, not going to score 23 points in the whatever remaining time we have left here, a couple minutes. So. And it's a long season, so. So our next game, I believe, is Wednesday. I can't remember now who we play. I know it's the girls. They have their home opener. And I believe it's just one game. So I think it's a 6.30, uh, yeah, 6.30 start. And that's Wednesday, you said, Wayne? Yes. Well, I don't know. There's no JV game, so I can tell you whether it's the other school or our school, I'm not sure. Oh, I, I don't like that call. That's... Kent Hill on the 13th. It's a little bit of a drive, isn't it? Yes, it is. Then on Friday next week, uh, the boys play Waterville. Now, I don't know what class Waterville is, but yes. Well, that's also a drive. Yes, at least it's a drive for them this time. Yes. Yeah, 
gets over that way, yes. Diego just wanted to get another sub in for the last minute. Yeah. So they called the timeout to, to get that get that in. Charge. He, he didn't get there. No, he didn't. You know, it, it, a block and a charge, is, it's a tough call. It's a tough one for an official. But the, the key point is, does the defender have position beforehand? They, it used to be you had to have your feet set. They don't do that anymore. You can still kind of have your feet moving, but you still have to have position there beforehand. And in that case, the defender didn't get the position first. So instead of a charge, it's called a block. No one makes the first one. Obviously in no hurry to score. No. Cougar 73 tells the Rebels 47. Unofficial scoring for the Rebels is as follows. Brody Morgan with two. Wyatt Lilly leading the uh, Rebels with 18. Philip Nesek with six. Elliot Norton with one. Riley Hedden with 15. Carl One with three. And Connor Dupre with three. So. That's it <laughs> for the first game. Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, it's a good game. The Rebels played well. They had, I mean, for, for three quarters, they played pretty well. Their skill is right there with Diego. They just got to match their energy, and they, and they just got to rebound better. Yep. So this has been Wade Howe, uh, Andy Whitney, and Joe Clark bringing you tonight's game, and we'll say good night.